In this video, we're gonna quickly cover a new feature in Cloud Code, the Plugins Marketplace. But first, one improvement I wanna talk about that came out in the last few days, I've been waiting for this for a while, and that is the ability to toggle on MCB servers at runtime within Cloud Code. Let me just show you that really quickly. Okay, so we opened up Cloud Code. I have the latest version, version 2.0.13. This is where we got the new plugins, but in 2.0.10, we got the ability to toggle on MCP servers. So first of all, let's just look at my current context window in this brand new chat. The only MCP servers in here are the IDE specific MCP servers that come with Cloud Code and VS Code. And we are at 8% tokens. Now, if we do slash MCP, we can see two MCP servers here, Chrome DevTools and Context 7. Let's just say I want to enable Context 7. I can press enter. And now I have the ability to enable it. We can see it's connecting to Context 7. And now we see Context 7 has been enabled. So if we do slash context again, We'll see that it added two more MCB tools, both from Context 7, the Resolve library and the Get library, and the Context went up to 9%. Context 7 is a pretty small MCB server, at least when you get started with it. In the projects that I work on, I have multiple MCB servers installed. What you had to do until now was add them and remove them, not during runtime, not inside a cloud code session, which would essentially break the workflow. So now that you're able to enable them and disable them at runtime is huge. And I'm just hoping that soon we'll also be able to do this with individual tools. But I will tell you that with my other projects, in conversations that are pretty long, after using specific MCB servers, I disable them and I've seen the context window shrink. And that is huge. So I hope other Agentic CLI tools will add this ability as well. Maybe they have, I haven't checked recently, but I had to share that, very cool. So they recently announced that Cloud Code plugins are in public beta. And what are Cloud Code plugins? They're essentially a marketplace where we can officially share MCB servers, agents, hooks, slash commands, this is huge because until now, you pretty much had to use a third-party registry or add them all individually yourself. This will save a lot of us a lot of time, and it's very easy to create your own marketplace yourself, and then other people will be able to download it, or you'll be able to download it on other machines. I'm just going to show you one of the example repos that they call out from Seth Hobson for his subagents collection. So he essentially added this .clod slash plugin file to his repo. You see that it has a marketplace.json file, and essentially his agent repo is a ton of subagents. There's so many use cases for each of these. Just to show you how it works right now, let's clear. Now if we do slash plugins, we see a new slash command. Click into it, we see four options. Browse and install, manage and uninstall, add marketplace and manage marketplaces. As of now, you have to add marketplaces and then you'll be able to browse the plugins. So if you go to add marketplace, they show us three ways of adding them. Either just the owner and the repo name, giving a URL with the marketplace.json or a local installation of a marketplace. So if we go back to Seth Hobson's page, we do WS Hobson slash agents. So then we're just gonna type in WS Hobson slash agents and we'll press enter. We'll see successfully added marketplace. If we go to slash plugins again and we go to browse and install plugins, we'll see this new Claude code workflows. We'll click into that and we'll see all the different sub agents from this plugin marketplace. Now I recommend looking through the actual repo to see what agents you're gonna download or MCP servers you're gonna download. Let's just download the first one, press enter. And obviously you can click through to the homepage to get more information on it. I'm just gonna do install now. And then it says it's installed, but we have to restart Cloud Code to see the new plugins. And just to show you that, if we do slash agents, we got no agents in this directory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave, we're gonna quit Cloud Code, but we're gonna start up Cloud again. And now if we do slash agents, we see all of these Cloud Code Essential agents we just installed via the plugin marketplace. And think about how much time that just saved you. And essentially, this is just one example because, again, you could do it with hooks and slash commands, agents, MCPs, whatever. So if you go to Cloud Docs, you can see how easy it is to create your own plugins. Essentially, you just create a folder, you create your manifest, then you create your marketplace.json file. It's all here is very straightforward. So this is very powerful. This will save a lot of us a lot of time, especially if we're in big organizations and we wanna share slash commands, hooks, agents, MCB servers. I think despite all the anthropic drama, Cloud Code is still pretty good. And I'm consistently moving between Codex and Cloud Code. And even though we're hitting such crazy rate limits with Anthropics models, with Opus and even Sonnet 4.5, I'm still here for it. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching and have a great weekend.